What's happening, Jamie here? I wanna share with you a few things that I do before I paint a house. We're talking painting new drywall. I wanna show you through my process and the list of things that I do every time to make sure my paint job turns out as good as possible. Here we go, first thing. Vacuum the floor. Get up all the drywall dust. I like to start by vacuuming the edges against the wall where the drywall dust is heaviest, then doing the floor. Next, I vacuum all the walls. I use this really soft, horse-haired vacuum sweeper thing that I have. Next, I trim all the edges of the drywall and any door or window opening that's hanging out into the opening. That way, after I paint, I'm not running through the house making a bunch more dust. After that, I go to the windows and I cut all the foam off around the windows with a sharp knife. I don't like to use a utility knife because it's not really the right shape and size. I just like to use a longer blade knife and make sure it's pretty sharp. Also, I take an old paintbrush and I just swipe out the corner where the wall and the ceiling meet, making sure that all the dust from the sanding block that got crammed up in there and jammed in the corner is all swiped out and it's nice and clean. And I guess the last thing to do is staple up some plastic. I like to use like three or four mil plastic so that when I peel it off, all the staples and all the junk comes out with it. When I staple the plastic up, I like to roll the edges under and staple it so that it kind of makes a little gasket. When you're using a paint sprayer, there's a lot of air force coming out of the machine and it would just blow right under the thin edge of a plastic. So just roll that edge under and staple it like a nice gasket. Tips, it's things you should do. So what we're doing here is sanding the primer coat. We've already sprayed the ceilings and they do not get sanded because it has a texture on it. But the walls definitely sand to get all the little fuzzies off and make it nice and smooth for our first coat of paint. We'll also sand the second coat. All right, so what we're doing with the sander is removing all these little fuzzies. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to shine the light there. This is really rough where the paper got roughed up when the drywall guy sanded the mud. Now, right here, is really smooth. That's drywall mud. This over here is rough. And then here is smooth again where the mud is. So we need to make it all smooth or else these little fuzzies will be stuck in your paint and you'll never get them out unless you really sand it hard after the paint coat is on. It's important to sand it during the primer coat. All right, so a couple quick swipe of the sander pad and it's all feeling smooth as a baby's bottom. What's up, Ray? Cool. Looking good. Oh, what are you doing in there, dude? Uh, paint. You got a master painter, sir. Master painter? Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's looking good, bro. Woo. Look at that cut line. God, it's tight. <laughs> up, down, up, down. Ready, bro? 